A great beef barley soup should be rich and hearty with tender chunks of beef and plump grains of barley. The secret to getting there is to treat it just like a beef stew, only soupier. It's one of those recipes that takes a long time because the beef needs to slowly cook and tenderize. But let's just say you only had an hour. In that case, you need a pressure cooker. And I'm gonna show you how to adapt my recipe from the stovetop to work in one of these as well. Beef short ribs tend to have really good marbling, which leads to really tender, nice, juicy pieces of meat. Beef chuck is from the shoulder of the cow. It has a little bit less even marbling, but overall it's a really great cut of meat for a stew. Both cuts that are high in fat, high in collagen, which gives you that sensation of moistness and juiciness when you eat the meat. The beef short ribs are bone in, which I love because the bones add flavor to the soup. So the first step is to sear the meat. When you sear meat, it browns and develops deeper, more complex flavors. By cooking it in large pieces, I get browned parts, but I get plenty of internal surface area that I'll later cut up that will be tender and juicy throughout. Let's cut this into nice, chunky pieces. I don't like tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces of beef, even in my soup, because they tend to dry out more. After searing the beef, it's time to saute diced aromatic vegetables. All the classics, like onion, carrot, celery, and garlic. Once they're lightly browned, I put them to the side. If we keep them in the pot, they're gonna get way too mushy by the time the soup is done. I deglaze the pot with white wine, scraping up the foam, which are the brown bits on the bottom of the pot, so that they enrich the broth. You could make this soup using water alone as your liquid, but that's missing a major opportunity to add flavor. So on top of the white wine, I reach for stock as my primary liquid. In a beefy soup like this, your best bet in theory is homemade beef stock. If you have it, you should use it. But for most home cooks, it doesn't make a lot of sense to keep beef stock on hand, since a basic chicken stock is much more versatile. That's what I usually use in this soup. Chicken stock provides plenty of meaty and savory backbone, and still takes on a lot of flavor from the beef in the pot. If homemade stock isn't an option, your next best choice is store-bought chicken stock. Store-bought beef stock is made with less actual meat than chicken stock, and instead relies on flavor enhancers like yeast extract to fake a beefy flavor. In goes the stock. I'm gonna add the beef back to the pot. And the bones. Oh, this is gonna be full. Tie this up into a little sachet. Shoop. On the stovetop, I simmer the beef until it begins to become tender. Then I add the barley and the reserve sauteed vegetables and cook them until they're both softened and plump. That's starting to look proper. For finishing touch, I add some optional fish sauce, which adds just a little bit of umami, but don't worry, it doesn't make the soup taste like fish. If you like, some sweet frozen peas can go in right at the end, just long enough to heat them through. Now here's where the pressure cooker and stovetop methods differ a little. Since such high pressure would turn my diced sauteed vegetables into mushy blobs, I leave them out until later. Instead, I add some large chunks of carrot, onion, celery, and garlic, which will help build flavor in the broth. Because a pressure cooker is a closed system that doesn't allow for much, if any, evaporation, I use a third less stock in my pressure cooker version than I do in the stovetop one. In the pressure cooker, because it all cooks so fast, I add the barley to the pot along with the beef and I cook them both under pressure together. No matter how much time you have, this is a soup that will warm you all winter long.